ワンビットハート<laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> was expecting it to say the name right on launch. Well, all right. Uh, hey guys, it's Mick. Welcome to a new blind let's play of One Bit Heart, as as the voice so nicely has informed us. Um, I just recently got finished playing Alice Mare, and I've long since played Lie Eat on my own, and I enjoyed them very much. So, why not play the third of the games that Miwashiba has has released so far? I think a fourth one's coming out, but I don't know when yet. I'm super excited for that. But anyway, uh, as I've said, this is my first time playing this. I don't know what I'm walking into at all, really. Um, so uh, let's get going. New game. This game contains elements of logical deduction. Well, I'm screwed because the then because. Friggin' no thoughts had empty over here. Nah, I should be fine. Let's go. Uh, you will receive some hints for these segments, but for those poor at mystery type games, there is also an option to show extra hints. Would you consider yourself poor at games that require figuring out logic? Uh, I'm assuming X is no, I'm good at logic games, so I'm gonna pick this and hope. Okay, then the game will proceed as normal. I'm up! I'm up! Please, uh, five more minutes, I'm sleepy. Is that us then? Peep peep. Pow! <laughs> okay, so we have like a little star thing on our cheek. And are, are those cat ears? I'm all about it if those are cat ears. I'm a cat boy in all but all levels but physical. Um, Dolphin's Dream and Milk Tea, Chapter 1. Okay, so it's separated into chapters then. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Dolphin's Dream and Milk Tea. Begin Chapter 1. So our name is Nanashi. Okay. Huh? Uh, that late already? I guess I overslept. Not like that matters to a shut-in like myself. Hmm, what should I do today? I beat all those games in my backlog. Oh man, I envy you because, um... I have a lot of games in my backlog. And in fact, part of the reason I'm let's playing these games is to start clearing out my backlog a little bit. Because I've been sitting on One Bit Heart, as well as Alice Mare before this, for for a while now. I had friends gift them to me, I believe, and uh, I haven't been able, I haven't just haven't gotten around to them by now. But I'm I'm slowly but surely making it through through my backlog. I've still got like 300 games left to do because I have so many games, but we're getting there. Maybe I'll go see what Mikado is doing? Here are the controls. The arrow keys to move and talk with Z. Uh, cancel with X and reset. Okay, so pretty standard stuff. Same as same as Alice Mayer, pretty much. Oh, but there is a dash with A now. This information can be checked at any time from the computer in Nanashi's room. Okay. Oh, wow, this is, like... I wasn't expecting this, because both Lai Yeet and Alice Mare were from a top-down perspective, so this being from the side is nothing else on the computer but the controls. We've got a, a menu. But yeah, this being from, like, yeah, this, a side perspective, like Mario or just a 2D platformer is, like, interesting to me. I've got nothing. What is Mudder? Interesting. Uh, well... I'm just pressing a, a Z on a lot of things to see what I can interact with. Doesn't seem to be much, but people, I guess. Hello? Morning, big brother. Ah, oh, morning, Nanashi. <laughs> well, except for the part where it's noon. Listen, time... Time is an illusion. My sleep schedule is an ever-evolving nightmare, so if I wake up, wake up at noon, I, I'd consider that a success. Normally, I... 
I wake up just at random times throughout the day. I'm kind of a kind of a human disaster in that regard. But listen, it works for me, so you you cannot judge me for this. Though I'm kind I was about to say I'm kind of an on all right schedule now, but it's three in the morning, so I'm really not. Listen, I'm trying my best, okay? Uh, it sure is. Uh, and I've got to get going soon. I believe there's still lunch in the fridge, but you'll have to get your own dinner. Got it. I'll order a pizza or something. Your body's going to get weak and floppy if you eat nothing but pizza, you know? Like you, big bro? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I used to eat nothing but pizza, too. An unbalanced diet, to be sure. Cheers to that, bro. I... I've also done that a lot where I just heat up frozen pizza but I've been trying my best to actually start making myself food these days not that I have many options just because my palate is quite limited there's a lot of foods I just don't like but I, I try my best and I'm I'd, I'd say I eat relatively healthy now Oh, can you make a note for me? I've already written everywhere I can see. Sure thing. You are, you're already right up to the neck, though. Where am I supposed to write? Mm. Thigh, maybe? Somewhere where checking it in public won't get me strange looks. Okay, let's say my cheek. Mm. Oh, too bad. Uh, well, tell me what to write. Sure. It's not. It's not too long. Not too long, you say. Um, I'm just gonna screenshot that. I doubt it'll come up, come up again, but I think it's worth screenshotting the sequence of numbers, just in case. Five two five seven. Blah 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 blah. Just a thought, but I don't see why you can't just use the memo function on your bit phone. It's always been said you remember things better if you write them down. Yeah, if you write them down, though. Like, th that is true, because you, you have to, while you're writing things down, you're, you're processing them and committing them to memory a bit more, at least in theory. But you have to be the one to write them down. I don't think Nanashi writing this down for you is going to help you remember it. <laughs> right, thanks. Well then, I'm off. Okay, bye. Hmm. I'll wait a little for lunch. What now, I wonder? Okay, back to bed. Really? Can I go this way? Nah, not in a going out mood. So, Nanashi lives with their brother, I can see. But past that, I'm not really sure what their home situation is like just yet. But back to bed, I guess. Okay, bedtime. Um, uh... Oh, that's unique. Uh, just someone else is sleeping in our bed now. I love their hair color. It's a very nice shade of purple. It's one of, it's one of my favorite colors, actually. Huh? Who the? Hmm? Who are you? That's what I'm saying. This is my futon. Uh, oh, forgive me. I'll get off of it. Uh, where did you come in? There weren't any guests, and this is the seventh floor of an apartment. I don't know. Uh, even you don't know? What's your name? My name. Alright, well that line was voice was entirely voice. Uh, I'm just gonna read it in English now anyway, though. My name is Misane. Right, I'm Misane. Everything else, I don't remember. <laughs> Misane, eh? Good name. And I guess sleeping in my futon is just how it goes if you don't remember anything else. But about how much can't you remember? Anything on your mind? Uh, I've never seen headphones quite like that before. Oh wait, no, she said that. Uh, I've never seen headphones quite like that before. Oh, you mean my bit phone? I made this myself. What is a bit phone? Bit phones are devices used all around the world. 
people these days are obligated to always wear them. Okay, so right now, uh, Misana is kind of like an audience surrogate for, for the time being, because, uh... Na Nanashi n has lived here. He knows he knows what's going on. So him explaining something like how to play the game would kind of break the fourth wall. But since we have Misana here who has amnesia and therefore doesn't know how things work, uh, Nanashi can explain that and it'll be it'll be fine. Okay. It connects with brainwaves and processes them, I think. It used to have a lot of problems, but with technology now, it's pretty safe. Most bit phones are kind of like this. Connects to their brainwaves. Does each person have an ID of some sort? Right! When you're born, an ID is created for you, and it goes along with the citizen census. You can pick usernames on the internet and stuff, but IDs are completely unique. You only get one. Well, remember anything? No, not yet. But if you only have one ID... Wouldn't it be dangerous if someone else took it? I, I imagine that would make identity theft somewhat of a problem, unless there's, like, some way that the, like, the ID might be, like, completely attached to your brain or something like that. Mm. Well, there's something called a master program, and there's a control room for it at the very top of the 307 tower nearby here. The master program is 99.9% .9 safe, they say? Basically perfect, although it can be used, it, it used to be managed manually. People were nervous about the idea of leaving control to a program, but it's been about four months now and nobody thinks anything of it. There used to be cases of lost IDs, but now, not a one. So it's probably fine, right? I see. So then, who manages this program? Uh, that'd be my, uh, that'd be my cousin, Big Bro Mikado. So, he's your cousin, but you call him Big Brother? Interesting. I wonder why that is, if there's any reason at all for it. He made the current master program all by himself. Amazing, huh? Mikado. I've never heard that name. Well, you seem like you lost your memory, so I don't know what else you were expecting. Let's go outside. I might learn more if I go around town. Huh? Outside? Is there a problem? I mean, I've been a recluse for four months now. Going outside's, um, not my forte. Kind of a bother. I've got a kind of shut-in pride to uphold. Just go outside, Nanashi, Jesus. Unless you have, like... Yeah, I, I guess I, I, should, I shouldn't be so judgmental, because he could have, could have some, like, actual reason not to go outside other than just not wanting to. Um, you're a shut-in? Oh, I guess I didn't introduce myself. <laughs> okay. Well, I see why they, why they call him Nanashi, because it's a combination of Nanase and Yoshi. Yoshi! <laughs> um... I'm Yoshi Nanase. Everyone calls me trash, pest, maggot, spineless, dust, plankton, moron, and all sorts of other things. So call me whatever name you like. Nanashi, are you okay, buddy? Maybe now now I understand why you don't want to go outside, because everyone's rude. There's not a single encouraging word on this screen. I haven't mentioned it yet, but I'm digging this music. It's very... It's very just funky and upbeat, and I, I'm liking it. Um... Oh, and my goal for the future is world peace. I mean, you gotta have a hobby, I guess. <laughs> Something the matter? Uh, well... Do you have a more proper nickname? Huh? Those are no good. Alright, Nanashi then. That's what Mikado calls me. Nanashi. I see. Nanashi. Okay. Okay, so, I can't go outside and you have no memories, so... What should we do? Play video games? What? I'm going outside with you, Nanashi. Well, if you want to go outside with me, then I'll go with you. What about your shut-in pride? Oh, don't worry about me. If you say leave, I'll leave. 
And if you say buy yakisoba bread, I'll go do that. If it makes you happy, I'll be happy too. Nana, she's got some... <laughs> I got some, like, issues with trying to please other people, I suppose, huh? Like, it's... Wanting to help people is not a bad trait, don't get me wrong, but, it, like, it seems like his entire... Like, the, the the thing that makes him happy seems to be helping other people, I guess. Maybe I'm already reading too much into things already. Especially because, again, I just got done playing Alice Mare and everyone in that game had a traumatic backstory. So, like, maybe things aren't that deep, but we'll, we'll see. You don't care about yourself? Uh... Huh? Well, I don't want to get too sick or anything, and I'd like to have a peaceful old age, but... For the most part, if it's useful to others, and it makes them happy, I'll do literally anything. Mm -mm. You're gonna get taken advantage of if you keep up that mindset. Please, please have a bit more boundaries, Nanashi. So, if someone told you to die, would you die? Yeah, if my life could save someone else's and it made them happy, I'd give it, uh, I'd give it for them for sure. But I do only have one life, so of course I'd be very careful about such a decision. I see. I think I understand you, Nanashi. Also, you should call me Miss Anachan. Huh? But we met like five minutes ago. And I can't just call a girl my age Chan. That makes you sound like my girl fr Please, call me Miss Anachan. <laughs> wow, you sure are proactive. Got it, Miss Anachan. I can't promise I'll remember all the time, though. Now, let's go out and around town. We'll decide what to do as we wander. Ah, oh. uh, Masana-chan? Are you okay? That was such a natural tumble, it kinda brought a tear to my eye. Sorry, I have a habit of tripping over nothing. Okay, that's great. You've got cool qualities, but also clumsy ones on top of them. I think that's amazing. <laughs> what kind of compliment? Also, I'd be kind of happy if you could let go of my pants. It's looking a bit unladylike. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's go. Okay. Well, sure, let's go. We got a party member! What the hell is Mutter? I needs to know. Well, let's go, I guess. Hey, Mikado! <laughs> uh... What, what are you going to say about this? Huh? Mikado? Weren't you going to work? Oh, Nanashi, just forgot something. I'll be heading back very... <laughs> Nanashi, when did you meet such a cute girl? Come now, you could have told me. Um, Mikado, is it? Ah, he has a bit of a soft, softer voice than I've been giving him. Um, yes, I'm Mikado. That's probably extremely trivi trivial information to you, so don't worry about remembering it. Mikado. This is Misane-chan. She was just sleeping in my futon. Says she has no memories. You know anything, Mikado? Hmm, I see. That's unfortunate. I'm good at guiding towards a fixed result, but... This sort of thing is beyond my expertise. I've seen amnesiacs suddenly regain their memories on TV. Maybe you just need to live as normal. But I don't know anything. Not even where I live. And then you should stay here until you remember, I think. If you have parents, they should come looking. You can't act without any solid information. Is that okay? I'm not at home much. You can use this room if you like. Uh... Oh, I better hurry before the big shots get mad. Nanashi, you're alone with her, so don't attack her or anything. That's just a joke, right? <laughs> of course not, dummy. Misane, you should take care too. S See ya! Huh, what is it, Misane? I just thought you two seemed similar. <laughs> you can't associate an unremarkable piece of garbage who abandons his student responsibilities and blows the whole day watching TV and playing games at home with a genius like Mikado. 
there's a lot to unpack here. I also note that he's a white-haired anime boy, so I should not have been surprised by this. This is just like the Komida effect. But also... Uh, you know what? Let, we're not unpacking this today. Let's just throw away the whole suitcase and move on. Can we maybe do something about you willingly calling yourself garbage, Nanashi? Sh should we? That's what everyone says I am. People at school told me not to come anymore, which is why I became a shut-in. So you became a shut-in because of things you didn't like? Um, no. I love my classmates, and I love school. And I had friends, but now that you mention it, everyone took me off their list. You don't have any friends. I used to, but not anymore. Look, it's just Mikado on my friend list now. I've decided an objective. Let's put my memories on hold and make some friends for you, Nanashi. Huh? Why? I don't really need friends. Please, make some friends. <laughs> if you say so, Masana-chan. But how do you make friends? I think I've gotten a little worse at socializing since I've stopped going to school. Well, let's first look for someone your age. It should be less difficult to talk if you're similar ages. <laughs> oh, got it. You should be my friend too, Masane. Huh? Um, okay. Uh, how? Uh, you just think friend list, and you do this thing with your finger, and a window should come up. And then you can send your data. Huh. Uh... What? An error? Non-existent ID. That's weird. This doesn't happen often. If it's throwing an error, then... Oh well. Let's look for friends. Don't worry, I'll help you. Oh, we should use Mutter for that. I can register you. Anybody can use it. What is Mutter? It's an app I made. You can tweet words and save them. Okay, so it's... So it's basically just this universe's Twitter. Got it. If other people register, they can talk on your feed too, and you can make groups of people and talk with each other. I made it to talk with Mikado and my parents more easily, but it's kind of spread, and lots of people are using it. For now, I'll register and make a uh, register you and make a group. You have a real talent. This looks simple to use. You think? It's pretty easy for me to make maps. I just look at the instructions, convert them into numbers, and follow them like one, two, three. Convert to numbers? Uh... I've been able to see the world in numbers since I was born. It's kind of like the stats window in a game. Like Masane, you're 77, 54, 78. Is it something like synesthesia? And what exactly are those numbers describing about me? <laughs> Your measurements. You deserved that, Nanashi. Uh, not the leg! Please forget that. Now, let's go. It might be good to greet people around town, learning their faces and names. Okay, let's go. That... Mm, that definitely sounds like a good idea, but, uh, Nanashi, please refrain from commenting on people's uh, measurements from now on. Please and thank you. That's just sort of the thing you don't really comment on, even if you do know. Even if you can tell at a gl What the hell? Uh, anyway, but I think we will save the first trek outside for next time. Thank you so very much for watching. I'm very excited to see more of this game. I, um, very, I'm very intrigued. Anyway, uh, thanks, thank you so very much for watching. See you then.